Today, we are hitting upper body, a complete upper body workout using nothing but dumbbells. So there's no excuses, okay? You don't have that machine, you don't need that machine. It's just dumbbells today. Today's workout is a circuit, so we are completing each movement back to back. I love incorporating circuit training into my normal routine because it keeps my heart rate up, it's higher reps, and it's just a nice change up to my everyday routine. I hope you guys enjoy this workout. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe so you never miss a fit tip with wit again without further ado let's get into the workout Alrighty guys, this circuit has a total of eight exercises that we are going to be completing back to back. Now it's not a race, I want you to take your time with each rep and with each exercise. But it should be a goal of yours to make it throughout the circuit with little to no rest in between each exercise. Our first exercise is a front raise complex. I'm raising my arms, palms facing inward to a 45 degree angle, bringing them together and raising them directly in front of me. Moving straight into a bicep curl to shoulder press. With any standing movements, I like to have a slight stagger in my feet and focus on keeping my core nice and tight. Your body shouldn't be swaying. You should just be a statue. That's not swaying in the wind. Keep those elbows pinched close to your side on the bicep curl, rotate your palms outwards on the shoulder press, and then bring the palms back in, elbows pinched, and release all the way back down. Moving into our third exercise, grab a mat to protect your knees, we are moving on to a single arm bent over row. This is one of my favorite exercises to engage the lats, so be sure to keep your core tight, back straight, keep the elbow very close to your side as you pull the dumbbell up, and really pause and squeeze that lat. Moving into our next exercise, which is all about the rear delts. This is a rear delt complex, so this one exercise has three movements. <laughs> Palms are facing down, I want you in a bent over position, and we are hitting this movement from three different angles. Slightly behind us, straight to the side, and right over. There shouldn't be a pinch in your back, focus this directly on those rear delts. You know I couldn't give you an upper body workout without working the girls. So we're moving into a dumbbell chest press laying on the floor. At the top of this movement, I find it very helpful to really focus on squeezing those chest muscles and this guy actually helps hit those triceps as well. So it's kind of a two in one. Finishing off this circuit with two drop sets, one for biceps, one for triceps. So for this drop set, you are going to want to choose three different sets of weights. I had the 15s, the 10s, and the five sets of dumbbells. And for each set of dumbbells, we are going to go up in reps, lower in weight. So I'm starting with the 15 pound dumbbells and I'm doing eight bicep curls. Without stopping, without breathing, without doing much, I'm gonna move straight to the 10s and move on to 10 reps with the 10 pound dumbbells. Then I'm going to move to the five pound dumbbells and do 12 reps. I know that was super confusing, but I will have the entire workout listed in the description box below. After you complete the bicep curls, I am then moving on to a drop set of the tricep presses. I've always found tricep presses to be a little bit tricky because I have very weak elbows, but it's important here to squeeze your elbows as closely to your ears as possible. You don't want a lot of movement and focus on raising the, only the dumbbell, nothing else. Keep your elbows exactly where they are. This drop set is exactly like the other one, so we are going down in weight, up in reps once again. I'll have it all in the description box below to help a girl out. The 
the awesome thing about circuits and workouts is you can personalize them to yourself. So repeat this workout as many times as you would like. I am repeating it for three complete circuits. Take about a one to two minute rest in between and start again. Don't think of a circuit as a race trying to get each rep done as fast as possible, but I do want you to move to each exercise as fast as possible. Keep your reps nice and slow and controlled. I hope you guys like this workout and until next time, I will see you next time. Love you so much. Love you so much. Bye.